one that you lost this year doesn't necessarily have to be black on black crime, doesn't necessarily have to be police brutality. It can be someone you lost. So if you're standing in remembrance of someone that you lost this year, I need you to be on this side. First, we would like to thank everybody for coming out. This shows Philly's support. Y'all need to give yourselves a hand for that one. Yeah. Come on and give yourselves. Oh, y'all can do better than that. Yeah. Give yourselves a hand because it takes a village, y'all. It takes a nation to come together to form one fist. Now, I'm going to say that one more time. It takes a nation to come together to form one fist that's powerful. They said that we come from the city of brotherly love and sisterly affection, right? But when we look on the news and we get in touch with what's going on in our own community, we kind of waver in our beliefs and our faith that we can stand together as one, as a unit. So today, Rothstein family, which some of you know personally, and some of you know just by the street, they have decided that the killings and the murder rates in the city of Philadelphia has gotten so out of hand that they felt that it was need to bring people together. How, how many of y'all believe that? It's time, it's time. Doesn't matter your religion, it doesn't matter your beliefs, it doesn't matter your skin color, because all lives matter. Oh, y'all ain't gonna help me here? I need y'all to understand this one thing, that it shouldn't take for some, something like this to happen in our own backyard for us to come out. It is when we don't take the initiative to say enough is enough. Right. How long are we going to sit back and wallow in our jealousies, in our hatred, and all the things that keep us from being unified? I don't like this person because of this. I don't like this person because they're doing things that I wish that I can do. Well, guess what? If you come together and put your minds together, you can do it. It's all about encouraging one another to become great. How many of y'all believe that? Show it by hands. Come on, y'all need to clap y'all hands on this one. How many of y'all know that it's important in this last day and ages for the elderly to be teaching y'all? We look around, we see the lack of the elders. Whatever happened to the wisdom that's supposed to come from people like me? Whatever happened to the respect that's supposed to come from young people? Whatever happened to the respect that we're supposed to give to you young people? We lack that. But today, we have come together on one page, one mind, and one accord to say enough is enough. When will the killings end? When will the murder cease? Well, I got news for you. Only love can stop that. Only love. And as I spoke in earlier, it has nothing to do with if you are a Christian or a Muslim or a Hindu. Because God is one. He's a one God and he's a God of love. So if we all come together under that one divine creator, then we can love each other as we should. So today, again, I want to welcome you all to this first, because we believe it's going to go on. We believe it's going to get bigger. We believe that if we come together as one, we can come together and show that we can stick together as a nation, as a black people, as a family. How many of y'all believe that? All right now. So with that being said, I'm going to get out the way because we have two people that will be speaking. And I'm going to ask that they limit it to 15 minutes. Where's Mark? I'm going to ask that they limit it to 15 minutes.
minutes because we also, I mean, I'm sorry, 10, because we also have a third uh, person that would like to say something. Okay, you, you holding this for me. So, without further ado, it's Terry here. How you doing? <laughs> well, I follow you on yeah. on Instagram. Now, I'm going to tell y'all, I really don't know half of everybody I follow, and I don't know everybody that follow me, but I'm going to tell you this one thing. If I follow you, it's because you're putting up some positive stuff. Because I delete anybody that's talking a bunch of stuff. Okay? It's about feeding your spirit with positive things now. It's about keeping that motor going so you can prosper in life. That's what it's all about. So I'm going to ask if Terry would come forth and speak to y'all. And then after that, we have Tiffany. Tiffany, you here? All right. I'm going to move out the way and give him 10 minutes. How y'all doing? Hey! Y'all sound dry, man, for people that... We lost 278 people this year in the city of Philadelphia. Uh, I watched probably about 25 of them, you know? Uh, I've been shot five times in the chest. I got open heart surgery. Uh, I fight gun violence because, you know, I got children and I look at all of y'all out here and I look at y'all and I say, you know, I don't want to wash none of y'all, you know? Especially if you're a Muslim. But, you know, at the end of the day, it, it led me on to a journey of fighting gun violence in the city of Philadelphia and understanding that they running a serious game on us right now, y'all. 819,000 people didn't vote in the city of Philadelphia. So, out of 1.5 million people, you got 221,000 people that voted, right? So, guess what? Them 221,000 people get to hustle to 819,000 people in the city of Philadelphia. You know why our kids ain't got no schools or no playgrounds? It's because we as parents don't vote. That's it. So if you don't vote, you don't get. And you know what we get in our communities? We get bloodshed, funeral after funeral. Yesterday was four shootings. I was on four crime scenes yesterday. Uh, the fact that one of them got murdered was the saddest part because he was really trying to break the fight up. But a lot of times, we so caught up on being hardcore and trying to be tough that we don't, we don't, we don't want to educate ourselves on why we at the predicament that we is. So like I said, after this, I'm a spin off with the Rothstein family. And like I said, I want to give a hell of a shout out to the, y'all gotta give a shout out to these people, man. Give a shout out to these people. In the heart of North Philly, y'all, in the heart of North Philly, the heart of North Philly is where the change is going to come. And if you're a religious person, you know the Bible said that he's going to take the brick that the builder threw away to build the cornerstone of his ministry. And the sad part is the children are going to lead. Yes. Do y'all hear that? God said that the children are going to lead. Look who out here. Our youths. Look who out here. Our youths. Yeah. So we need to understand this. I want y'all to think smaller tree. Y'all built the, uh, I, would, I would consider this a pine tree. Because a pine tree is smarter than, is stronger than an oak tree. You know why? Because when the wind blow and a hurricane blow, it bends, but it comes back. And right now, what y'all doing in North Central is really like starting to spark. Y'all to match. And what happens is, I shouldn't have had to put a casket in the middle of the street to get our point across in Philadelphia. True. Very true. And the casket been in the middle of the street for seven and a half months before they even found out it was a casket in the street. And that's because we popped up on world news. So some calls has been made on, y'all looking at a person that's on a black ball list right now. You know? From a city, of, from a person that's coming off the streets in the city of Philadelphia, I done invested $2 million into what I'm doing. So people don't really understand how the cost that you fight in the people and the people that you fight can give the change in the community by just a signature. But guess what? Since we don't vote, they don't have to give you no signature. They're going to milk us right now in Philadelphia for four years, and it's sad. If, guess where the money getting spent at? Ride down Delaware Avenue. Ride down Delaware Avenue. All high rises going up. And guess where that money coming from? Right out of this community. 
right out of this community. The doctors is benefiting from us. The police is benefiting from us. The lawyers is benefiting from us. The, the pharmaceuticals is benefiting from us. Look at the, look at look at the look at the power we got right now, just in us. So right now, like I said, I'm in charge of from 34th. I'm just letting y'all know. I'm in charge of 34th from Lehigh to Port Richmond. And I'm in charge of from Port Richmond to Poplar Street, all the way back up to 33rd Street. I'm in charge of every ward that's in here. So what we need y'all to do, the Rothstein family, is form a committee and let me get y'all down to business and get this resources for y'all. And I'm going to hook y'all up with Daphne. I'm going to give her a call when we get out of here. You talk to her and y'all go. You know what I mean? My name is Terry Starks, and I'm not in here for actually to, to come here to be seen. This is why I'm here, y'all. Do y'all see this? Do y'all see what gun violence do to us? Huh? I got a bullet lodged in my heart and on my spine. I fight for y'all every day. And the sad part is I can't get no parent support or nothing. At the end of the day, we fighting to save y'all. Y'all got to understand. And the end of it is going to be the unity that changed. The change, the whole, y'all got, y'all the, y'all responsible for changing the whole city and don't even know it. Right, right, right. Y'all got four years to grow and educate yourselves. I want all of the kids to do research on Frederick Douglass. See, they took our African history out of school because they don't want you to know nothing. Bill Cosby is on the news right now for raping black or whoever, but guess what? They didn't tell you that Bill Cosby had $900 million and was trying to do a multimedia network to educate the black community. That's right. They took it from him. He, but remember, six years ago, he said blacks is ignorant because he was getting that money. Now that he want to change the way that he about to die, he want to get back to his community, they put him on Broad Street. Can you tell them where they can follow you at? Uh, y'all can follow me at, at Express Yourself, y'all. I'm at, I'm at Express Yourself. I'm always working. I don't sleep, y'all. I don't sleep till the change come. And at the end of the day, y'all are the change. And if we can get y'all the resources that y'all need. I, six years I've been trying to get a center for these kids. You know what they told us? The government? It's three laws that stipulates funding for kids. You know why them three laws is? Because they got prison beds for them. Oh yeah. yeah. They got prison yeah. beds for y'all. That's a whole nother They not gonna give y'all what y'all want and they don't want me to tell y'all what's really yeah. the truth. Right. They investing in y'all four years to go to they know in four years, one out of everybody that's out here, at least half of the people gonna be in jail. Women and men. Women and men. Women is going to jail faster than men right now. Oh yeah. So right now it's a presidential election I want to talk to y'all about. Right now it's a presidential election, so you're going to have a bunch of candidates. You got 20 candidates that's about to come to the city starting January the 26th. Now if we make large of enough noise right here in North Central right here, we're going to bring all of them candidates right here so y'all can ask them why they want to run for our country. That's how much power we can have in 30 days if we organize this the right way. And I got him on, I got Trump on speed dial. I got Ben Carson on speed dial. You know? Call him up. Cause see, that's the problem right there, baby. I mean, call him up for what? We ain't even organized. If we ain't organized, how we gonna call him up? We gonna fail the job before we get there. My name is Terry Starks, man. This is crazy in the world, but we gotta understand. Ignorant, being ignorant and trying to be cool Gonna leave you cold in the morgue, and I'm gonna be coming through preaching over your body, and the family gonna be saying, call Terry Starks. Y'all better wake up, trying to be cool. Don't be too cool till you cold. Cause them bullets coming through them wind, they coming through windshields, houses, they coming through streets, subs, trolleys, everywhere. My name Terry Starks, nice, nice to meet y'all. See, I even say it in y'all neck, my bad. Come on, Tiffany. Mama. Yes. God bless you. I really want to say God bless you and your boys. I'm nervous. I'm always nervous. It's going to go away. Yeah, it's alright. Um, first, I just want to know, um, for the siblings that's out here. First of all, my nonprofit is called Siblings Against Killers. We just started in September. 
for the siblings out here, can I get everybody that lost a brother or a sister to homicide in the city of Philadelphia to just raise their hand real quick? Is there any mothers out here? Any mothers? Any mothers? If you got kids, I don't, I mean, even if you didn't lose a child, you got a child, you know, anything. All right, so I just started in September, and the first time that I spoke at a, you know, a candlelight was a 16-year-old boy. He was shot. The mother, her only child, her only child, and she lost him to gun violence. It took me, I would never speak at a candlelight. I, didn't, I just didn't like the attention. But that touched me so bad because I saw she, the pain that she felt. I used to sleep on my couch, and my brother was killed. My brother was shot five times. When the cops found him, he had his hand still tucked in his pockets. You know, they gave him no chance. He still had his hands, both hands tucked in his pockets. Somebody murdered my brother. To this day, we don't know who killed them. So I have anxiety. I walk around. I'm nervous. I don't like people to walk behind me. It's crazy. But I hear my mom cry 2 and 3 o'clock in the morning. In the morning. When she around us in the daytime, she woke and she moving and she working, you know. But at night, when the world is asleep, my mom is up crying and I'm downstairs at her house on the couch and I hear my mom cry. You don't want to hear your mom cry. None of y'all don't want to hear your mother go through that. It's too many mothers visiting the morgue. Bottom line. Bottom line. And another thing that I want to say is most of the city is Muslim. It's Muslim. So the thing is, is that we are here killing each other. I hate to have to say it. They say don't suspicion leaves room for the devil. But are we killing each other? Are Muslims killing Muslims? Or all the Belayhi men of Shaitan that are regime? At the end of the day, I think we all need to seek protection with Allah, with God, period, from Shaitan, from the devil. Y'all young people, y'all out here, y'all getting high, y'all don't have any respect for the adults. And the adults don't have any respect for the kids. They out here, they fighting, you know, just doing with whatever. I just put a picture on my Instagram. It was a little girl. She was like 15 years old. She was smoking a Dutch in the back of the classroom. My daughter is nine years old. She go to elementary school. It's a girl in the eighth grade. She's pregnant with twins. Like, what are we doing? The moms, I believe that the moms do need to step up. But at the end of the day, I don't, only God can change what's going on right now. This is already written. When a mom is going to turn around and call her, call his, the child is going to turn around and call the mother a bitch to her face. That's what they do now. What time is it? It's 7 o'clock. I'm sure, I'm, I'm not pointing no fingers, but I'm sure there's a lot of people wandering these streets and their parents don't know where they're at. I shouldn't have to go to a candlelight for a 14 year old boy that was shot and killed. And the older sister's 24, and that's who was raising them. No young girl shouldn't be killed. The mom, these babies should not, they should have their mothers. Like, it's, it's getting ridiculous. The city of Philadelphia is a mess. I'm solely here. I don't want no attention. I don't have no money. I do this for the muscle. Any family that I come to, I take out my pocket. I have one child. I take out my pocket and I, and I five, six cases of water, whatever I can give to, this, to these families. I don't have no, no, no type of money from the government, nothing from the state. I don't do none of that. I come straight from work, sit down for an hour, come to candlelights. That's what I do. Ain't nobody helping me. I'm doing this from the muscle because I lost my brother and I got friends that lost their brothers and their sisters. We got to stop. No gun zone is on their way too, by the way. I don't know if they're here yet, but we really have to stop this. And at the end of the day, like I put so much stuff on my page. It's like, you know, um, they will promote Vanity, Grand, and Onyx, but they won't promote when, you know, um, Express Yourself is constantly on Instagram promoting. Like he said, he's on there all the time, and that's the truth. They won't, they won't repost my stuff that I put up there that's very beneficial. They won't do it. They don't care about us. They don't care about us. And, and me and Terry had just went to a candlelight maybe a month, two months ago, and he has said that what we go through, the other, we're, we're African American, what we go through, everybody don't feel what we feel, they don't see what we see. And that's the truth. What y'all gonna do? We gonna keep killing each other. We gotta stop killing each other. It's really not, y'all don't have the power. God didn't give y'all the power to kill each other. Y'all don't have that power. Y'all think going to prison, it don't stop there. Y'all gonna have to make, meet y'all maker. Y'all gonna have to meet God. It don't stop there. That's the biggest punishment that you're going to get. The hereafter is real. It's not for fake. I don't wear this keep. I don't wear my shayla 
I study for hours and hours and days and days. This is not a joke to me. This is what I do, what everybody should be doing. So just, I'm, I'm just saying because we really do need to learn our religions, whatever religion that you are. You, you shouldn't kill. It's, it's in both religions. You should not kill. Bottom line. So, you know, I feel for the moms out here, all these the young girls that's having babies, do y'all want to stand in the front line and be at your child's candlelight because of what's going on in the city. It will change. It's going to come to us. Oh, yeah. I never expected for it to be my brother, but so happily I got a call, 6 o'clock in the morning. Listen, I hate to have to say this, but when I found out that my brother was caught, was killed because I never believed that it would happen to me, I peed on myself. And I'm telling y'all because how serious it is. It's not a joke. I, I, I sat on the couch for 16 months and dropped my life away. I was out of work for 16 months. This is real. It's so real. Y'all don't want to feel it. You ain't never, moms, y'all got to step up to the front line because the men been doing it and obviously it's not working. So we're going to need the moms to step up, like I always say. We need us. We got to work together to step up. Y'all kids, y'all got to really just like start respecting these adults and respect yourself first. That shouldn't even be doing it. Taking, people taking perks. We, they drinking. How y'all doing all that? Why? For what? It's not that serious. Wait, y'all want to become grown. Y'all don't want these bills and stuff that we got. Y'all don't want that. And y'all don't want your mothers to be at the front line. Like I said, siblings against killers. I'm for the siblings, but I'm for, I'm for the whole family, really.